Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to look at my latest purchase from Drop.com. Now, this is formerly MassDrop. They've changed their name to Drop.com. And we picked up some stuff pretty much around Prime Day. They had some pretty decent deals. Actually, it might have been a little bit before then. But let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. And uh, one of my good friends and longtime viewers ragged on me about the knife I was using. I knew that would happen because uh, I kept using the same one and was too lazy to go into the safe. So I still didn't go into the safe. I'm still lazy. I just bought a new knife on Prime Day. And uh, yeah, Victorinox uh, Nail Clip 580. Uh, pretty interesting little piece. Hadn't seen one of these before. It's a little thicker than I like, uh, distance-wise this way. But uh, actually has a full nail clipper in it. And not a little chintzy one either. It's actually quite a nice one to have with you. Uh, this would be a great camping piece. But um, we're going to use this bad boy today. So let's get this guy opened up. And not as robust as the knives I normally use, but man, these Victorinox come in stupid sharp. One thing they do know how to do is, is put an edge on a blade. So let's get this bad boy opened up. see it is a heritor. Interesting weave on the box there. And what we all came to see is a big old pile of mess falling out of the box. So we got some foam, we got blah blah card, we got a warranty card that's not filled out, instruction card don't care about. And here we go. So pop this off. Kind of lame on the inside of the box, but what do you want? Get this plastic off, because I'm sure there's plastic on here. Yes. And get my microfiber and just kind of give it a quick brush down. And let's see if there's plastic on the back. Should be. Come on. We want to take a good look at you. There we go. All right. So a Heritor Automatic, and this is the Gregory line. Okay, got it zoomed in so you can take a closer look. Now I believe they call this Moon Phase. It's not actually Moon Phase. It's a day-night indicator with a 24-hour subdial. So at the 12 o'clock up here, we got a 24-hour subdial, and you'll see it in uh, the Arabic's numbered 1 through 24. And then in this little blue section up here is a sun and moon indicator. So if I start rotating the hands, we're at the start of the day, we're at 9 a.m. As I move the hands around, you'll start to see the sun come out. I get it in the light there. As we progress on through the day uh, into the evening, the moon will start to come up. So there we go. As we're approaching the midnight hour, the moon will hit the center or the apex. And then it'll start going down again. Of course, we got that open heart there. It's supposed to kind of mimic a tourbillon, but it is most definitely not a tourbillon. Uh, we've got this interesting texture on this dial. Look at this. Like a basket weave almost. Try to get you a couple different angles so the light catches it. Really pretty. Good looking dial. Take a look at the back here. And it is a decorated movement. You can see the Geneva striping in there. Now I'm pretty sure, and they don't list it on their website, but I'm pretty positive this is a Chinese movement. Uh, and you can see the the open face, or the open heart here, that's where it'll pass through. And up here you can see the rest of the, or some more of the gears and stuff, got blued screws. I'm sure they're not really blued, they're fake, I'm no doubt. Uh, 22 jewel movement. The leather actually feels pretty good, uh, nice and soft, supple, 
Uh, and it is one of those where it goes all, they take it all the way up into the case. No adornment on the crown, just real simple from a case perspective. This guy is all about that dial and that open heart. Really nice looking piece. So I picked this up on Drop. Uh, it is branded buckle, but not crown. I picked this on Drop for uh, 100 bucks, I believe. So not bad. Like I said, it is a Chinese movement, but it's a good quality piece. I mean, good quality from the piece itself. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, we've had some, you know, of our watch game pieces have come in feeling quite a bit cheaper at that same $100 price point. So it does indicate a 42-hour power reserve and 21,600 beats. So you're going to be able to see some stutters in the second hand at that speed. But it's still going to sweep pretty reasonably well. And it is a sapphire coated mineral glass. So anyway, we will get some wrist time on this Heritor Gregory. And we'll get a full review down the road and see how it is. But just want to give you guys a quick look uh, at what's available from Heritor in the $100 price point, at least on drop anyway. If you're interested, you can go ahead and... Uh, Sign up for it on drop and they'll let you know the next time it's available. Got those nice cathedral hands. And then the, we'll check out the loom in the full review. Alright, real quick, let's get this hair to Gregory on wrist. Quick wrist check. I am wearing a Sturmansky Open Space. Now, this is a 24 hour watch, meaning that the our hand moves around the dial only once per day. It doesn't do the normal AM, PM twice per day. It just goes around one time. So even though these two clocks are set the same, at the same time, you can see there the hour hand's in a slightly different place. But you can see that it's at 2100 on this guy, which is 9 o'clock in military time. So you see it up 21 up here, or you can see this guy's at 9 p.m. here. So let's get this open space on. It's a great little piece. Of course, I'm just going to drop it on the uh, table here. Let me wipe the case back and show you. Stomansky usually does a pretty good job on their case backs. Look at that. You see the little cosmonaut coming out of the uh, capsule there. Very cool, very cool. And we'll get switched over to the Heritor. stiff because it's the first time but that leather is pretty soft of its own accord uh, just the angle of it's a little bit off now because it is fitted to where the leather comes all the way up to the case it makes the uh, bracelet a little more round right out of the box so it tends to fit a little better right from the get-go now it's not a small piece by any means it's definitely a wrist feeler I got a seven inch wrist and it is doing a good job covering the whole thing. But not a bad looking piece. I do like that color, that kind of pearlescent off white of that dial. And that texture on that dial is just beautiful. I think it would have looked better with a brown strap. Maybe we put a like a brown clockwork synergy NATO on here or something like that. A brown leather clockwork kind of distressed clockwork synergy leather that would look really nice but that's going to do it for today i so do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me and as always until next time you guys get out there and make some noise see ya